Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to talk about polygons. And there's some more to talk about polygons in the next video, but at least here we start with the basic principles. So first of all, the definition of a polygon is that it's the closed plane figure, and that's important. So it is a closed plane, meaning it has a perimeter. Not only that, it is formed by three or more line segments. So it's formed by straight line segments that form a complete enclosure in a plane format. So that's called a polygon. And the, the line segments are therefore called sides. The vertex on the polygon is each of the endpoints on the polygon. In other words, here's a polygon with four sides made of four line segments, and each corner, so to speak, is called a vertex. So a vertex is named for each corner of the polygon. A convex polygon cannot extend the side into the interior of the polygon. So what does that mean? So here we have two polygons. They both fulfill the requirement of the first definition right there. But this is a convex polygon, and this is not a convex polygon. And the way you know that it's not a convex polygon is that if you take one of the line segments and extend it, and that extension goes through the interior of the polygon, inside the polygon, then it's not a convex polygon. You cannot do that here. If you extend any of the line segments, none of the extensions will actually go through the interior of the polygon, so therefore, uh, this is a convex polygon that is not a convex polygon. And finally, we talk about consecutive vertices and consecutive sides. Remember, the vertices are the corners of a polygon. And consecutive means the next one as you go along a line segment. So if you start at A and you move along this line segment and you get to B, you can then say that A and B are consecutive vertices. But also A and C are consecutive vertices because you could start at A, move along the line segment to E, and that's the next vert vertex uh, starting from A. So therefore, they're also called consecutive vertices. And finally, consecutive sides means that if you have one line segment, which is a side, and then you move on to the next line segment, this would then be a consecutive line segment. So the line segment AB is consecutive to the line segment BC, just as the line segment AB is consecutive to AE, and AE is consecutive to ED, and so forth. So it's the next line segment as you move along the sides of the polygon. So those are the basic definitions and principal names for polygons. And then let's continue on the next video to show you some more principles of polygons in geometry. And that's how it's done.